<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Puppy Video Week 1, and here comes Echo just passing in front of the crew. Okay, our first puppy is, let me get it Echo's way, is going to be Ozzy. And this is our little chart we have on our wall that tells us color of collar, name they were given at birth, and the new name, as you can see, I'm going down the center there. Okay, first we have Ozzy, formerly Blasco. Ozzy is a blue male. Isn't he absolutely gorgeous? His former name is Blasco. He just and he's yawning. And this is Cammy. Hi, Cammy. <laughs> She's tired. <laughs> okay. Blasco was born at 17.2 ounces and Blasco weighs 2.3 pounds now. Let's turn Blasco around. Excuse me. Ozzy. Turn Ozzy around. Little Mr. Ozzy. Look at that face. His eyes are cracking. they will be open here soon. He actually is going to a wonderful family with two wonderful, beautiful little girls waiting on him. He's going to nibble on Cammie's thumb. Where'd she get the ball? Ball? What are you talking about? She has a ball. Oh, Echo's been toting around a ball. Cammie's asking me about the ball. Echo's been toting around the ball and actually been keeping it in the pool with the puppies. She's real ball crazy. All right, now our next puppy is Biscuit. Say bye-bye, Blatt. Say bye-bye, Ozzy. Our next puppy is Biscuit. <laughs> As you can see, the puppies have a collar color. This here's Biscuit. He is still available. He is a silver male. He was born second in line. Now, little Biscuit. He was born at 16.2 ounces, and he weighs 2.3 pounds. Same size as Ozzy. He's a beautiful little guy. See Ozzy, how Ozzy's trying to climb all over Cammy. Ozzy really likes to run out and get him. Biscuit, on the other hand, he's real content just to kick back and watch. He, that's their personalities now. This is what he does a good deal of the time. He likes to um, just cruise the pool. He climbs on his brothers and sisters. <laughs> Ozzy is chewing on Cammy's knee. No, he's licking my knee. He's licking her knee. But anyways, this is what Biscuit does. He's a cutie, but he just kind of, he, he's content to sit and chill with everybody. He's a monorail puppy. He's a monorail puppy. All right, then. Our next one is Beatrix. We say this is Beatrix. She is a rat masquerading as a dog because <laughs> she's so small. everybody. She has, to, she has to disturb everybody. Let's get Beatrix out of the bottom. There she is. Oh, there she is. She is a little girl. She's a tiny little girl. She was born at 17.2 ounces, but she only weighs 1.9 pounds. Not growing as big as the other ones. We may have to start supplementing her just to get her caught up. But now this little girl, she may be tiny. Here's turn her little face around, Cammie. She may be tiny, but you know, she's got a determination about her. She, when the tussle starts at the milk bar, she has no problems just pushing her way in there and getting those bottle, bottom bottles. That's what she likes. She likes to lay on her side, curled up under everybody, and just nurse away without anyone bothering her. She's a blue female. Isn't she absolutely adorable? Look at that face. Oh, yawn. Okay, she's so cute. All right, our next one is Bart. Bart is right there. He just curled up. Bart's a silver male. He is not taken. He is available, just like Beatrix. He he's just kind of he's a lot like um, what's his name, Biscuit. He likes to cruise around and be with the crowd. He's not real pushy. He's got right now he's got kind of an even personality. He's a monorail puppy. Just like um Biscuit was. Do you want to turn that little face around, Cammy? Oh look at that. Oh look at that. See his little eyeballs are cracked too. See? Here Cammy stop. I want to look at his little eyeball. See his little eyeballs right there in the corner. Look like they're trying to start opening. 
But you know what? I'll be honest with you. Mama just fed these guys. So they've got milk on board. They're just ready to crash. Not real. I mean, look at this. They found Cammy's warm legs to curl up to, and that was all she wrote. <laughs> this is Bart. Our next one is Annabelle, formerly Brandy. Annabelle is right there. I know where she is. There's Annabelle. Annabelle. Annabelle is going to a wonderful family. With, if I'm correct, there's four beautiful children in this family. She's fuzzy. She's fuzzy. And you know what? I think... The, I don't think they could have picked a better puppy for them because as it is appearing right now, Annabelle has a real go get them attitude where she likes to just really echo get right in there follow everybody and i think that she's a perfect family for these four kids because she's got a lot of energy and she's going to be able to keep up with them i think she's going to be able to keep up wonderfully what's going on are we oh echo echo join the crew look at her bottles she is can feed the world there she, what she wants to do is she wants to clean, start cleaning puppies. And Cammie's like, no! <laughs> Let's see Annabelle's face, Cammie. Hold on. She's readjusting the puppy so Echo can lay down. There you go. What a girl, Echo. Let's get Annabelle's face. Oh, look at that. Isn't she adorable? Cammie's got to, oh my gosh, look. Because Echo just got up and left the pool. And the puppies are like, whoa, wait a minute, Mom. Where'd you go? Where are you? Let's see Annabelle. There she is. Isn't she adorable? Look at that. That little bitty nose. Oh, she see? She starts sniffing. She smells mom. She's just going to start sniffing now because she smells mom. She's adorable. I think she's going to be perfect for this family. She's got enough energy to hold up to them. <laughs> and she's actually awake. When she's awake, like I said, there's milk on board. And then Mama comes back and is going to feed him again. Cool. Okay, our next one is Bailey. Bailey is fighting for the top puppy as far as the weight goes. Oh, let me give you um, ba uh, Annabelle's. She was born at 20.8 ounces and she weighs 2.8 now. 2 pounds, 8 ounces. I don't know if I gave you um, Bart's statistics, but he was born at 18.3, and he now weighs 2.3. Okay, now have Bailey. <laughs> na, 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 na. Bailey. She's a big girl. She's a silver female, and she is available. And she got open her mouth. Oh, yawn! Can we see that face? Oh. She's got her mouth wide open. Echo. And see, her eyes are starting to do the little poochies in the corner too. Oh. Get her mouth open. Yawn. 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 She. Oh, look at her. Look. She finally got that yawn out. She's a big girl. She doesn't really. She's not real. I guess she can see more of a um, monorail puppy herself right now. She just kind of follows the pack. But you know, all their personalities are going to develop more as they grow. Can I see her little face? There we go. Look at that. How about your belly? Look at your belly. Oh my goodness. Look at your belly. She's got a belly on her. She is a belly girl. She's going to be a big dog. Bailey is going to be a big girl. Silver female. Still available. Ah, let's get Bandersnatch. Let's get Bandy. She doesn't like it when I call him Bandy. She calls him Bandersnatch. He's named Colin after the like Alice dog. in Wonderland in Dog Alice in Wonderland. This is Bandersnatch. He is a blue male and he is available. He's a singer. He's a singer. 17.9 ounces at birth. He weighs 2.3 now. Comparative to where they were born to the what they weigh now, they're actually all gaining percentage-wise the same. Some were born as bigger puppies and some were born as smaller. Now we call him the singer because he does that. He likes to sing. He talks, he grunts. He does what we call puppy purrs. 
I think he's trying to growl, but it sounds like a purr. So we call it puppy purrs. And he likes to bark. He'll go brrrr, ah, brrrr, ah. That's what he does. He's such the, he's, he's a character. He's our singer. If there's noise coming from this other than the puppy grunts, it's him. Again, he is a blue man and he's available. Look at this baby. Isn't he cute? Let's see his little face. He's going to go to seat. He's like, yeah, I'm tired. Now, we're going to trim their little nails today because their little nails are like little needles stuck on the end of those little paws. There he is. Okay, who do we have next? Last but not least is Brody. Brody, on the other hand, is a horse masquerading as a dog. Where is he? Funk. <laughs> he's, look at him. Absolutely huge. He was born the biggest and he's still the biggest. He was born at 20.4 ounces. Actually, he wasn't born the biggest, was he? Hmm. No, he was born the biggest. Well, no, I got here that he wasn't. I've got... Annabelle was born at the biggest by 4 ounces. But anyways, he's 20.4 ounces, but right now he is 3.1. He is already... He's hit into the threes. He's a three-pounder. He's a big boy. Not even two weeks old. He's only nine days or ten days old. He is not available. His name is Brody, and the new family are keeping him as Brody, and he's going to a family with children and grandchildren. So I know he is going to a wonderful family as well. He's going to be able to keep up with them, and this boy is going to be huge. He's going to be a big boy, and they've already started nicknaming him Bro, which I think is really cute. Look at that. He is a He's not aggressive at the food bar, but he certainly uses his weight, his strength, and his size to get where he wants to be. I notice what he does is he goes down below everybody and pushes his way up. He goes zoop, and he'll knock somebody off of the food bar. Echo stretched out and bumped everybody. I mean, but see, Echo, she's got so much milk, and she's such a wonderful mother that... She um, feeds these all day long. Now, in the middle of the night, she'll wake me up, I would say, every two hours, two and a half hours, feeding these babies. And I know that because they all start making all these squinchy. You know when her milk comes in because all of a sudden they get quiet and you hear, look, 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 look. But until then, look at her. Look, she's flipping that puppy up. She can clean him. Here, X, why don't you lay down, baby girl, so everyone can get at the milk bar. There we go. She goes, no, Mom, it's time to clean. Fight, 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 fight. Yeah, <laughs> fight, fight, fight. <laughs> You're going to squish him, honey. Here, lay down. And there's the ball. That's what she does. She just totes the ball with her now. And I think the reason why she totes it with her is so Rainer and Nixon can't get it. She's got mud on her back. Rainer and Nixon must have put it on her out there. But she is a great mom. She feeds these babies all the time. Now, she likes to come out of the pool and hang outside after they're all asleep. And she likes to come downstairs and hang with us when they've all been fed and they're sleeping, which is perfectly fine. We all need a break sometimes. What did you say? I said a little obsessive. <laughs> she obsessively cleans everybody. So Cammie says she's obsessive with her cleaning and her nursing and her adjusting the puppy. And I say crying because Echo will be laying here and at two o'clock in the morning a puppy will be over there and it'll go <coughs> and that's the dogs outside. The puppy will be over there and it'll go <coughs> and cry and she'll go <coughs> and start crying. All right. Well, this video is 14 minutes, and I'm only allowed 15 minutes on my uploads for, uh, what is it called, YouTube now. At least they up me to 15 minutes. But anyways, we'll see y'all next. Bye-bye.